Let us look on to a question asked on GATE 2017 based on statistical thermodynamics uh, about ortho and para hydrogen. The ortho and para hydrogen is mainly isomers to isomers of hydrogen. Let us look on to the question for ortho hydrogen the nuclear wave function and rotational quantum number respectively are options are given anti-symmetric and even symmetric and odd symmetric and even anti-symmetric and odd the hydrogen having covalent bonded dihydrogen covalent bonded depending of the direction of the spin of the nuclei it is of two type two type of isomers are there one is ortho hydrogen and the other is para hydrogen as you can see ortho hydrogen is having with spin of the both nuclei are in the same direction whereas the para hydrogen the spin of the both nuclei are in the opposite directions so in the questions first we have to know uh, it is symmetric or anti-symmetric for that that is our question so for that uh, first we what do you have to do that exchange of any to identical nuclei if the wave function doesn't change the sign it is symmetry and if the wave function is changing sign on the exchange of two identical nuclei it is asymmetric we can show it by a uh, by the this example of ortho and para this figure shows the ortho and para hydrogens these two of them shows the nuclei i have colored one the darker let us uh, to know the positions and the first one both are having plus half spin is uh, ortho uh, both are having plus half spin and second one it is plus half and minus half spins so first one we know that it is ortho having this same spin so it is ortho and second one it is para let us see what happens when the if we rotate or change the uh, two identical nuclei exchange the two identical nuclei if we exchange the identical nuclei in the first position the second a uh, spin will be coming and second position first will be coming again uh, since there is no change in the sign the sign remains the same the as we said it is symmetric and again for para if we exchange in the first position the spin reversal happens that is in the first position here it was Plus, plus half spin but here it is minus half spin on changing and in second also there is minus half spin and here it is plus half spin so the spin reversal is the so it can be said that it is anti-symmetric and the in our question the next uh, next question uh, next Thing we have to find is that the rotational quantum numbers for rotational quantum number first we have to find the total nuclear spin it is nothing but adding up these two spins that is if uh, for para if the plus half and minus half is added we will getting zero zero spin so total nuclear spin is zero and for ortho the total nuclear spin is one and as we said for ortho the nuclear spin is one and for para it is zero and if we substitute the total nuclear spin i onto here so we will be getting two into one plus one will get three and for para zero if we substitute here i as zero we will be getting one so if for ortho it is triplet and for para it is having singlet and uh, rotational quantum numbers rotational quantum numbers having the value of 0 and plus or minus 1 
and when j is equal to 0 uh, j is equal to 0 is when uh, the both it is having plus half and minus half so it will be getting value 0 and for j is equal to plus 1 we it is by this addition plus 1 plus half plus half and j is equal to minus 1 is via this addition minus half plus minus half I'm getting minus 1 as you can see both i plus and minus if we look on to the ortho and para plus and minus is for para so this is j is equal to 0 is for para and both plus half um, plus 1 is for this ortho as you can see for this plus half plus half so it is this can be in the other condition in which the two spins are down but the as this spin both spin are same so this j equal uh, plus 1 and minus 1 uh, belong to ortho and as you can see the 0 belongs to even number and ortho uh, this one belong to odd number so in summary the ortho and para is having the nuclear spin is symmetric and for para it is anti-symmetric and again in ortho it is having odd rotational quantum number here it is rotational quantum number uh, odd, uh, for ortho it is odd rotation quantum number for para it is even rotation quantum number and for ortho it is triplet and for para it is singlet in state so in our question it is they are asked about the ortho hydrogen we have to set the nuclear wave function and rotation quantum number we said that nuclear wave function is symmetric and rotation quantum number is odd so the answer will be symmetric and order thank you for watching